Okay, here's page 367, number 37, cosine squared of beta plus cosine squared of pi over 2 minus beta equals 1. And before you can understand that, um, I need to just review something with you. When we have a right triangle, if I have 40 and 50 degrees in these two angles, I know the cosine of 40 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's x over r. And the sine of 50 is opposite over, over hypotenuse, which is x over r. So the cosine of 40 and the sine of 50 are exactly the same because of the right triangle relationship between complementary angles. We had, um, we had some properties that said something like this. It said um, the cosine of 90 degrees minus an angle is the same as the sine of that angle. So in our case, if I put a 40 in there, well, let's see, I'll put a 50 in there. The cosine of 90 minus 50, which is 40, is the same as the sine of beta, which is 50. Okay, so that's this um, relationship that we just talked about up there. So we're going to need that for this problem because I, I showed it in degrees because it's a little bit easier to, to comprehend. But it also means if I have the cosine of pi over 2 minus an angle, that's the same as the sine of that angle. So up here when I'm doing this uh, identity here, I'm going to start with um, this side, this, which means I need to write it down twice because we always start with an identity. So it equals the same thing on the right plus the cosine squared of pi over 2 minus beta. Or, yes. Okay, so then I'm going to make a substitution based on this right here. I'm going to take out cosine squared and put in sine squared of beta. And we know that cosine squared plus sine squared is always 1.